Hi, it's me again, and today I want to read Psalms chapter 123 until I'm tired of reading. Okay. I lift my eyes to you, O Lord, and throne in heaven. We keep looking to the Lord, our God, for his mercy. Just as servants keep their eyes on their master, as a slave, slave girl watches her mistress for the slightest signal, have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. For we have had our full fill of contempt. We have had more than our fill of the scarfing of the proud. I'm sorry. In the contempt of the arrogant. Chapter 124. What if the Lord had not been on our side? Let's our Israel repeat. What if the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us? They would have swallowed us alive in their burning anger. The waters would have engulfed us. A tyrant would have overwhelmed us. Yes, the raging waters of their fury would have overwhelmed our very lives. Praise the Lord, who did not let their teeth tear us apart. We escaped like a bird from a hunter's trap. The trap is broken and we are free. Our hope is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Those who trust in the Lord are as secure as Mount Zion. They will not be defeated, but will endure forever. But as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forever. The wicked will not rule the land of the godly, for then the godly may be tempted to do wrong. O oh Lord, do good to those who are good, whose hearts are in tune with you. But banish those who turn to crooked crook ways, O oh Lord. Take them away with those who do evil. May Israel have peace. Chapter 126 When the Lord bring, brought back his exiles to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. We were filled with a with laughter and we sang for joy and the other nations said what amazing things the Lord has done for them yes the Lord has done amazing things for us what joy restore our fortunes Lord as screams renew the desert those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy they weep as they go to plant their seed but they sing as they return with the harvest. Verse 20, 127 Unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. Unless the Lord protects a city, guiding it with centuries will do no good. It is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night, anxiously working for food to eat, for God gives rest to his loved ones. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward for him. Children born to a young man are like arrows in a warrior's hands. How joyful is the man whose quiver is full of them. He will not be put to shame when he confronts his accusers at the city gates. Chapter 128 How joyful are those who fear the Lord, all who follow his ways, follow his ways. You will enjoy the fruits of your labors. How joyful and prosperous you will be. Your wife will be like a fruitful grapevine, flourishing within your home. Your children will be like vigorous young olive trees as they sit around your table. This is the Lord's blessing for those who fear him. May the Lord continually bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. May you live to enjoy your grandchildren. May Israel have peace. Chapter 129 From my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me. Let all Israel repeat this. From my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me. But they have never defeated me. My back is covered with cuts as if a former had plowed long pharaohs. But the Lord is good. He has cut me free from the ropes of the ungodly. 
May all who hate Jerusalem be turned back in shameful defeat. May they be as useless as grass on a rooftop, turning yellow when only half ground, ignored by the harvester, despised by the bander, vendor, and may those who pass by refuse to give them this blessing. The Lord bless you. We bless you in the Lord's name. That's all I have to say. I hope that you comment and subscribe. Talk to you.